Hey everyone, today we're going to do a backlight upgrade to an LED for a Siemens Sunumeric 840C control using Monotech backlights. Monotech. All right, let's get right into it. So here we have the Siemens Sunumeric 840C and we're going to be doing an LED backlight replacement. So I sped up the video for me do undoing all the screws. And so the Monotech part number is an MB104S840C. And that gives you an inverter uh, and two backlights. And as you can see, we've taken the, the back of the monitor part off of the front bezel. So we need to access the LCD panel in the front. So I've disconnected the original backlights there. And now we can access the screws to take the panel off. And you can see that LCD panel uh, that's there. It's a 10.4 inch LCD. And so I'm just gonna remove those screws. Uh, there's just four screws holding it down. And there's also a video cable on there. So don't just uh, reef this up it's really hard. So you gotta make sure that comes undone. Um, and it looks like I already had unplugged it in for the video, but yeah, there is a cable in there too. Uh, so the next is this Toshiba LCD panel. It's a Toshiba Matsushita LCD panel, and it has two backlights, one on the top, one on the bottom. The original is a CCFL bulb, and we're gonna put in two strips of the, the Monotech LED strips. It has a special case on it, so it mounts right into there with, with very little difficulty. So it's just two screws that hold it down. They're kind of small screws. And you reuse those screws, so don't throw them away. And now the Monotech, it, there's three clips along the edges. They just, you push those in first and then it snaps right into place. And when you get that there, there's a left and a right. Make sure the tail is coming out the right, the correct side of the LCD panel. So the same way that the original wires are coming out. So there's the two screws, two screws, and there we go. So now we put it back into place. Don't forget to connect the video cable and connect the video cable first. It's a little ribbon cable and it's a little tricky. <laughs> it can be. Um, if you pull too hard, uh, you're going to be hunting for it on the other side. So don't pull it too hard that it gets pulled through the underneath the circuit board on the other side. So there we go. Uh, and there's get that nice make sure it's secure that it doesn't come off because once you get it all together you don't want to have to take it apart to secure secure that cable again and there's the four screws back into place uh, so the original ccfl bulbs there they run approximately 330 volts so you can't use the same inverter that siemens provides so we have to provide put a new inverter on and just this little wire has to be removed so the power, so this is super, super important. Remove this wire because it's not needed anymore. So the original inverter is inside that power supply and that uh, we don't need that part of that circuit. So we're just not going to connect that part. We're going to put a new inverter on top of that circuit. Siemens did an odd thing. They, they built the inverter part in the power supply and part on the main um, board. And so we just, we're just dis by removing that red wire you're disabling that inverter and we're just gonna put these screws on we're gonna just put a, this inverter just give it me a minute here you'll see it this monotech inverter i should have probably slowed it down so you can get a better look at it that's monotech's version of the led and that inverter puts out 9 to 12 volts um, and we take 12 volts from the power supply so we provide this extra little cable that goes right into place and that provides the power for the new inverter led inverter and now we put it all back together and they use torque screws if you're familiar with siemens you know that already all the siemens controls use torque not phillips and now we just put the cover on and we're ready to bring this back into the machine so there you have it. Um, that's the final steps. If you have any questions, you can go to monotech.com. Uh, you can contact us through the website. Or you can go to sales. Sales at monotech.com is an easy email to remember. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And um, if you have any questions...
give us a call. Monotech, leading name for industrial display solutions in the world market today. Proudly providing solutions for all your industrial display needs for hundreds of legacy controllers. Visit us at monotech.com. Thank you.